What up, everybody? It's your boy Snow. Ignorant Gamers in the house. This is a little out of the format because it's a new format that we want to bring to this show, a little to our blog, and it's called uh, Offline. And this is basically a segment that breaks out of our normal IGZ topics and IGZ reports, which we're very happy that you guys watch and enjoy. We just wanted to bring something else where it's like a one to one situation or a very organic situation. Um, as you can see, we're not, I'm not in the studio, I'm sitting on my couch, it's about 1.48 in the morning, some stuff on my mind, I wanted to get it out, like, that's what this is about. Um, usually in our shows, we try to have two people, and the reason is, checks the balance. Um, you might see me and Ramon, you might see Naiju and Tuan, or Tuan's me and Ramon and Naiju, like, we try to make sure that we have the checks and balances so that way no one can sway one side or the other. If we both just happen to be on the same side, then <laughs> so be it. Um, but for the most part, we try to keep everything on the checks and balance. So if you see someone doing one of these offline segments, that is that person and that person thought alone and don't reflect that on the entire channel that person's opinion so thank you and being that this is the first I kinda have something I've been wanting on my mind for a very long time Xbox One conference just ended PlayStation 4 stuff is being brought up because of that I'm focused on Nintendo Wii U um, not Nintendo as a company because Nintendo was awesome Super Nintendo was awesome, Nintendo 64 was awesome the GameCube, I can't put it on Dreamcast awesomeness as a console, console that kind of failed, um, kind of, don't chew my head off. Um, the Wii is phenomenal, it's innovative. It, to me, 8th gen is what's coming with the Wii U, the PS4, and the Xbox One. Um, to me, the Wii won the 7th gen war. Um, numbers don't lie. Period. Numbers do not lie. You can go look it up. They don't lie. Um, they found a niche and they made it work. And they jumped on it and it worked. Yes, it was SD when we moved to HD. With 480p gaming and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I get all that. But numbers don't lie. Um, so... With the Wii U, seeing a lot of bad press, a lot of bad people. I don't want you thinking that we're haters here at Ignorant Gamers. We are consumers. We don't like to be dicked around about anything. If you ever watch us on Lifestyles Defined, YouTube Lifestyles Defined, you'll see it. You might see my boy Ramon ripping the apple. You might see my boy Tawan ripping to Apple. You might see... You might see them rip into Android. Listen, because we're consumers. We're the voice for the people who don't, who can't do this, who don't want to do this. But when, when it happens and it works, you'll see that we're on the side of consumers, right? And you might have heard of us cutting jokes on the week. That's what we do. We cut our, we cut jokes on our own mother if we have to. The Nintendo broke me. The Wii U doesn't interest me because of the catalog of what it does and continue to do. The Nintendo's been a great brand. But the truth of the matter is, the branding for this generation needs to be stepped up a little more because they got lucky and grabbed adult gaming, adult gamers, people who are casual, people who can't pick up a controller and go up, down, left, right. Konami go, you know what I'm saying, anymore. They got grandma to play. They got your dad to play. They got your mother to play. And then they bought one when they got home to put their five-year-old on it. Five-year-old comes and plays. He's playing motion. Guess what? He's also playing Mario. That's a new Mario person. That's a new Mario generation kid right there. He's going to do that till he get seven, eight, maybe eight years. So let's just say about... 10 or 12 if he was, no, 12, 12 to 14, he's grown up, 
he's becoming a junior high school kid and all this other stuff. Guess what? Those other kids in the school, yeah, they had a Wii, but they probably also had a PlayStation or Xbox. What are they playing? What's the one thing we took about our line? Call of Duty. As a Wii player, he couldn't play that. I mean, he could. It wasn't the same experience. He wants to be down. The best form of advertisement is word of mouth. Forget all that other big money stuff. It's the word of mouth. With that said, that's how the gamers, adult gamers, were born. Not me as an adult gamer who grew up playing those games on Nintendo, but the ones who never got into gaming because it wasn't really cool to be a gamer back then. People who, business suits play Wii. Yeah. They don't sell that many units for no reason. They don't tell me it's a low price because Xbox Arcade was a low price, right? So, um, I think that I've seen some of these commercials, the new commercials with the families and they, you know, telling them about, you know, the new Wii U's and all this other stuff. Like, you know, it's cool. Those are cute, cute commercials. But cute's not going to do it right now. They need something aggressive. They need something fun. They need something funny. They need something compelling. And they need something emotional with a story tied into it. You might be saying, example, well, what's that? Well, people hear the Meverse. Or maybe I hear the Meverse because I'm a part of the gaming community. So that means there's mind share. Do I really know what it is? Yeah, I do. But because I'm getting on YouTube to talk to you guys, I did more homework, I got more curiosity, but I have some people who don't do what I do, who loves playing games, and they have no fucking clue what the Meverse is. Why not create a compelling emotional video, diary video, with all kinds of like emo and hipster, I'm sorry to say it, but like hipster like music, and they get in and they show the dude drawing on his game pad, and he posts in there, and the idea behind it, and everybody loving and compelling, you know, stuff like that. Why not make a commercial where, you know, the family is in a local game store and, and they're playing the Wii U and, you know, he's learning about what you can do with the with the game pad and, you know, or why not have <laughs> Wario and and Lu the, the the evil Luigi, I forget his name, why not have them do a series of commercials like the Panda? The Panda commercial. They're evil, so that can work. You can make them have their own audience. And the people who who might have been uh, on a Game Boy or Nintendo DS or any version of that, they might recognize Wario and Lu Lurio, whatever. What the, what the hell is his name? But they might recognize that dude and, and, and see those commercials and be like, oh, is there a new console out? Why not introduce We Fit? Two should have been a launch lineup. Like you do these things and you market it in such a way where you create these compelling stories, and you can get the U.S. market because that's your biggest problem right now. Because they got the biggest mouth. Us in the U.S. we have the biggest mouths. Where we're angry, we're mad. Nothing satisfies us. If it bleeds, it leaves. Now, I'm gonna get to that in a second. You see that four? I got five hands. Out of five customers, if you got four good customers, they kind of quiet and that's good promotion for you. And they may tell one other person. So this four might turn into eight. Eight potential customers, right? One sore thumb or sour thumb <laughs> can do five times the damage of these four dudes. They can go on a rant because people who listen to people who vent and are angry. Like, oh, this sucks. Blah, 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 blah. And newspapers, the gaming outlets are becoming like newspapers. If it bleeds, it leaves. They don't want to report the good stuff. They don't want to report, you know, the, anything positive. They want to, they need to get viewers. They need to get people on their websites. They need to get people on their videos so that way the ad can roll and they can get money on the ads, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you can find out how to repurpose and rebrand how you're going to do it, it has to be a smart and compelling way. You're claiming, like for instance, they're starting to claim 
Let's Play videos. That shouldn't have been as big as a deal as it should be. It really shouldn't. Um, yes, I understand that for people who make the living off Let's Plays, it's going to hurt them. For people who use Nintendo content in their videos and they're not even doing Let's Plays, that might hurt them because the fingerprinting is crazy on YouTube. Um, what happens is, yeah, Let's Plays are, are free advertisement for the game, um, but it's an uncontrolled free advertisement for the game. If the game sucks, the game sucks. The review is going to kill that game before it even happens, but somebody might watch. Somebody might want to watch the game through. And, and the thing with, with Let's Plays, it's not like a movie. I watch a movie illegally uploaded to YouTube. Guess what? I've seen your movie. I've seen your movie. But a Let's Play game? If I play Heavy Rain for you guys, you don't know what it is. You're watching me play, but you won't know what it's like to play the game. If I play... Um... Halo 4. You can follow the story, but you don't know what it's like to play the game. If I play, you know, Pikmin or anything like that, the wonderful one on one, like you won't know what it's like until you play the game. It's still an experience. You get what I'm saying? It's still there's still that nature. So that's why the Let's Play is like, kind of a good thing to have. But Nintendo's trying to get in front to advertise against their own videos and this can hurt them if they don't have the right messaging to get in front of those videos. You, you see how, how I'm tying it back in? I'm dancing with it. Like You gotta have the right advertisements for those who might be willing to do it and also those Nintendo Directs are god awful for American audiences. I want you to, I want to say that again those Nintendo Directs are god awful for American viewers. They're a little bit too long. They're a little bit too slow. Nothing against Mr. Iwata. I fucking love you. <laughs> We're not haters here. We just don't take bullshit for nobody. But it's it's god awful to watch an hour and some change of, of you talk. I say break it up into two segments. Or just get someone a little bit Find another method of, of getting that information out. You know? Um, and at the end of the day, you're talking, it's like you're only talking to those who who uh, are already invested by purchasing a Wii U. You're not talking to those dudes who who are still dancing why they should. You know what's happening? Every time you guys do a Wii U Direct, there's like 50 articles that's just basically saying, Oh, EA doesn't want to, and I don't know why people keep pissing off EA, but EA doesn't want to make games, or EA developers saying that the Wii was crap, or now you guys are doing sports games, the PS3 and the Xbox, are just Xbox 360, it just got confirmation from EA that EA sports games will come out on those two consoles till 2017, but they don't want to make games for Wii U, and then all of a sudden now y'all want to make games for Wii U again when a couple of years ago they said they will fully support the Wii U. That sends mixed messages to everybody. Look at the Xbox One conference. We got a lot of videos covering that. They did a conference, an hour conference, and people are flipping out because the lack of games showing at the conference. I'm not going to get into that video that here, but watch our Xbox One playlist. But um, it's that kind of thing. Like my, If I jumped on the Wii U in the beginning, Okay, how many games are that launch lineup would I purchase? It's very hard to tell. In January, they did a direct saying that there was going to be a lot of stuff coming out before the summer. Summer's here, and before E3, and then you promised some stuff to be here at E3. E3 is in a couple of weeks, and then they got the Best Buy thing. That like that's pretty cool. I would love to see how that marketing is flipped. But you know, my dream, my Saturn first came out. I had the same problem. There was no games. Like third party support. EA tried to kill them too. So, I don't know. What do you guys think they could do for marketing the Wii U a little bit more? I think they should do some compelling stuff, but I'm sure you guys who own it got other ideas. So, holla at me. Your boy Snow.
I'm out.